I love you, they say. I'd take a bullet for you. There is no greater love than this, than to lay down your life for your friends. Hey all, it's Father Bryson. Happy Easter. You know, to lay down your life for another human being is the greatest sign of human love. But today, in this week of Easter, in this time of Easter, as we celebrate Easter, we see something different. We see something more. We see a love that not only laid down his life for us, but who came back for us. He laid down his life on Good Friday. He descended to the realm of the dead, and then he rose on the third day. He came back for us. And that, y'all, is a sign not just of human love that lays down its life, but of divine love that comes back for us over and over and over again. A divine love that comes back for us every time we come to the Eucharist. A divine love that comes back for us every time we go to confession. A divine love that comes back for, for us every time we even go to prayer in the quiet of our rooms or in the Adoration Chapel. He comes back for us. When we approach the table of the altar to receive Jesus in Holy Communion, He comes back to us with a bounty of graces, with this huge supply of graces that our hearts are so small and He desires to give us everything. When we come back to confession, again and again and again, He comes back to rescue us every single time. Pope Francis said, it is not God who tires of forgiving us. God does not tire of forgiving us, but it is you and I who tire of asking for forgiveness. See, the mystery of Easter is that Jesus not only died for us, but that he came back for us, that Jesus has stridden through the Red Sea of death itself, that he has descended into the realm of shadows, and that he has smashed open the prison door. He says, Adam, come out. Adam, come and be with me. Eve, I have come back for you. I will not leave you in the shadow of Good Friday, in the shadow of your death, in the shadow of your sin. But the joy of Easter, what we celebrate in these 50 days, is that Jesus Christ has come back for you and for me, even through death itself, and that he comes back through the deepest darkness of our sins, through the deepest struggles of our sorrows, and he always and every time reaches out for you. That's what we celebrate these days. That is the mystery of Easter. He comes back for you and for me. Happy Easter.